All right, in this video, I'm just going to show you some of the basic stuff on how to get ready or set up for using the texting platform in batch leads. Um, it's pretty awesome. It just came out, I believe, maybe a month ago, two months ago. So it is fairly new when it comes to the texting platform. Um, but after kind of testing it out with other accounts and also talking with them, it seems like it's going to be a really good one. I know they're always going to be improving it as well. So, of course, you would come over here. You got, you know, the campaign section. This is where you would see all the different campaigns. Obviously, to create a new campaign, you can go here, create a new campaign. And let's just let's just test it out. Let's just go, you know, let's just say I'm gonna put SD campaign one. I'm actually gonna put the date so I know when that's started. If there's a webhook, you can do a webhook where it kind of so like let's say I create a webhook that's or a zap. Um, so like if it's a hot lead, it will, if I, uh, I'm jumbling right now, if I am doing the texting platform and the leads hot and I toggle it as a hot lead, it'll then zap over to my CRM of choice, kind of like flip pilot. Or if you have Podio, you'd put the Podio, um, email right there as well. And of course you have other users in batch leads. You can then click here to see who gets to see and use the texting platform and who doesn't. And of course you would just go next. And I'll just hit no. Of course, they'll kind of set this campaign up and now I got to put contacts into it and you would kind of do it by batches. So I'm just going to let you know about that. And of course, one way to put contacts is, is one you could have imported that way. If I said yes, I could have imported contacts. But again, let's say I come over here and just for fun, I'm going to do leans that are vacant. So I got a list of 39. I can go select all actions, add to campaign. Of course, boom, I can see that campaign right there. Or from this field, I can go new campaign and I can put, you know, SD leans vacant you know, for 11. If I wanted to, of course, I would select my market. Same thing, same motion, and then push all that those contacts over in that campaign so I can start texting them. The cool thing too is if I'm in here in the regular filtering, when you if I do text them, it'll then also keep logs in here inside the contact or property card as well for future. So then like I can always, you know, filter and make sure that I'm not doing marketing to properties that I just marketed to. The other things you need to be aware of is if you go to settings, you do need to buy some phones or phone numbers. You buy, you know, can do buy 20 or 50 at a time. And then come on. Then you need to go to message templates. And these are kind of like your intro messages. These are going to be the first messages that are sent out. Of course, what they do is for each template is one message. You give it a title. You can put, you know, first name, you know, the, the address as well. So it can be like, hi, first name. I'm interested in their address. And I'll automatically populate their name and address from the contacts. And of course, then there is a backup template just in case there is no name or is no address that would just say, hey, I'm interested in your property you own and just want to see if you ever thought about selling. Rule of thumb, guys. I would say make 10 up to 10 templates. You need to make a lot of templates because at the time of this video, if you're watching this, there's quite a bit of real estate investors out there and real estate agents who are using texting, whether it's this platform, other platforms out there, and the phone carriers are getting smarter, right? So phone carriers look for specific words. There's keywords, especially when you're pretty much cold texting. It's just like email, right? So you gotta think of email. Think of the history of email. Maybe five, seven, eight years ago when you emailed somebody, it would always go to the inbox. And then they created the spam folder. And then Google has a promotions tab, a social tab. So there's certain keywords and it's coming from certain ways to where it will then filter in which folder it goes. Phone carriers are similar. So they've been catching on to certain keywords or templates. So if one phone number is sending out a lot of texts and all those texts are the same exact text message, 
to somebody they've never had a phone call with, they've never had a text conversation with, that will kind of be a little red flag to these phone carriers. So you really need to have as many templates as possible and filter through those templates. Try not to use like the same template. Like let's say you do 300 texts a day and you're doing a batch of 100. So maybe have used three different templates that day, right? So that way only one template's being used for 100 people a day. Or let's say if you created 10, you're doing 300 a day, you're not using the same template every single day. It's, you know, I'm using a template on Monday and I'm not gonna use that template till Thursday or Friday. So you're using multiple different types of templates and you're not using certain keywords. Like I want to buy your house. I know buying is kind of a hot keyword. Um, I know out of the blue is a keyword you shouldn't be using. Um, interested in selling or interested and selling. So you really need to get creative on reaching out to these homeowners. Just some, you know, insight and food for thought. Um, Got to think about it. Remember in your market, there can be other investors texting the same homeowner. So what's going to help you stand out? What's going to be a text message that's going to sound different and get them to actually reply to you without being clickbaity, as they would say on the online terms or kind of tricking them in a way. So just some ideas there as you guys think of setting this up. And of course, you also got quick replies. These are so like if you're in mid conversation, instead of having to actually type out the whole phrase, you can just boom, boom, boom. Let's say there's always common questions like, who are you? What's your offer? Um, you know, where are you located? Um, you know, what do you want to know about the property? That way you can just have these quick replies and it could just be a button, shoots off the text back to them. And of course you have your do not call manager. You can, this, were, this is where you'll see all the DNC numbers that you hit DNC during your texting campaigns. And then if you have a DNC list that's outside of batch leads from other different platforms, you can easily upload that list. So that way, when you're ever doing a texting campaign, if there's a property in your campaign list that's on the DNC, it'll automatically skip over that property. So you're never touching that homeowner again. Of course, manage your markets. You can have more than one market in batch leads. You do have to ask for approval with them. And I believe it is an extra cost. So just some of the tips. Now I will have another video where I'll kind of actually be sending out some text and I'll kind of go through some of the cool features of how to manage some of the campaigns. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you got any value or you learned something new, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that like button. And then also there should be a subscribe button that pops up right here. You'll definitely want to hit that button too, because every single week, we're always releasing new educational content, tutorials, um, up-to-date stuff to teach you more about real estate investing strategies, marketing, tech tools, softwares, integrations, and all that great stuff to help you scale your business. And then also there should be a couple more videos right here that you should definitely watch. I mean, they're already here. You might as well watch them. If you're, if you're in a playlist of ours, playlist right there, next video right there, definitely should check out more content that we have. And if you wanna, you know, do a quick shout out or ask us a question, hit it in the comment section. We're always responding or replying to everybody. So see you in the next video.